Hello and welcome to Astrological Vibrations for Monday, September 17th, 2018 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. That was not an earthquake. That was Mahalo scratching himself and <laughs> bouncing my little platform. And our energy mantra for today is balance comes when my mind works with my soul. And today there may be an extra added energy of responsibility to the day. We have the moon shifting into Capricorn. What time is that moon actually shifting into Capricorn? It's shifting at 4.07 a.m. Pacific time. So Capricorn energy is really presiding over the day, working with the Virgo energy. So again, we have this strong earth energy, which can feel dense. My feeling is that it gets very dense when we're caught up in responsibility versus responsibility. And by that, I mean responsibility, the things that the world wants us to do, all of the shoulds that we have upon us, the conditioning versus what is my soul asking of me? Balance will come when your mind is willing to work with your soul. When your inner Zen meets the mindfulness and the awareness of your mind to help move you on your on your personal uh, soul path forward. Now what I love in this day is that we actually have Lilith working with Mars. Mars has moved to one degree, finally, oh my gosh, so slow. One degree Aquarius. This may be lighting up the electrical vibes and we'll get into that a little bit more because I definitely feel them very strong. Um, that one degree Mars in Aquarius energy, but having Lilith there action passion of mars meets lilith bedrock energy of the soul that is calling you to honor the soul that is calling you to go your own way your balance in yourself will come when you're willing to heed that call and take that according aligned action but the action has to be true to you the other thing i would say is matching your vibrations with this within matching your personal responsibility to the vibration of whatever that energy is to help push you forward and onward but then like i said <laughs> moon in capricorn so the moon shifts into capricorn the moon is going to connect with uranus the moon is going to connect with saturn Whew. Um, and then the moon is connecting with venus that connection with Uranus, potentially a breakthrough. Uranus is retrograde in the sign of Taurus. So knowing your worth, knowing it is worth you honoring uh, the truest part of yourself. Lilith really does connect us to that truest part of ourselves. Um, and we're going to get into that because we have a square building with that. <laughs> Moon conjunct Saturn, two degrees, that nurturing degree, again, what is true to our soul will ultimately nurture nurture us even if we have to go through those hard periods because sometimes we have the soul that is like the taskmaster like you have to do the things but when we honor it there is still this feeling joyful within because we're being true to ourselves so be aware of that but also be aware of the things that pull you away from that and what is your obligation to these things that are pulling you away from being true to your soul Moon te uh, sextile, I almost said textile, <laughs> sextile Venus. <laughs> Venus in Scorpio. Venus in Scorpio definitely aligning us, attuning us with some of those shadows that we've had in relationship with ourself. Um, again, the moon may bring up these conditions that have been put there. And Venus is like, not that, not that. I'm going to know myself. I am not going to continue walking through this world with a mask. I am going to know myself. I am moving beyond the illusions that have been cast upon me <laughs> or that I keep casting upon myself with these masks. Rumi, take off the mask. Your face is glorious. And that is take off the mask. Your soul is glorious. You're the heart of the heart of the universe. You are the heart of the heart of the universe and your name is love. Like that, that's Rumi. That's, why would you mask that? <clears throat> so what we are building into and feeling as well, I don't know if any of you guys could sleep last night. I could not. <laughs> like the electrical energies were like, uh, Mars and Aquarius is building into an exact square with Uranus. They are both at one degree, so they are definitely in that square, but we're definitely feeling that. And again, there is worth stuff coming up. Mars conjunct Venus. 
Listen to your passion, your passion, your desire. It has a message for you and it's meant to drive you forward, not in an obsessive way, not in an unhealthy way, but in a way where it's true to your soul path. And Uranus in Taurus is helping us shake off the things that tell me or tell us I'm not worthy of this thing that I desire. You are incredibly worthy of the thing you desire, no matter where it's at in its growth, in its blooming, in its flowering. So realize that and go move with your heart and move with your soul. Bring your mind along with you in a mindful manner to that direction. But also know at the same time <laughs> on a physical level, nervous systems may be feeling these energies aplenty. So I love, after I came up with the energy mantra, balance comes when my mind works with my soul, I love this card that I pulled from Work Your Light. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? How perfect is this? Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. It may be scary, it may not make sense, but if you trust your soul's yearning, you will live a life beyond your mind, what your mind could imagine. Answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing, rather a lifelong dance. Deep down, you already know what you long for and what your soul longs for. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission, just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan, that is not the yin way, <laughs> before they take the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul. And that's why most people don't do it. But you, you my friend, are not most people. You are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't even need to know where it's leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it and you do not need permission from anybody else. Sometimes the more resistance we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. And I would say that is my 2018 experience. <laughs> what is your soul calling you to do? All right, so that is it for today. Good luck with answering your soul's call, answering that responsibility, finding that balance within you. You can always book a reading. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. You can find a few reading offerings at gaiablooming.com. But easiest thing to do is email me at this time. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. And there is enough love in the world for you. Namaste.